I was born in a house of music lovers. Um, right from my grandparents, everybody was uh, initiated and they were practicing Indian classical music. Mm-hmm. My mother is um, the famous disciple of the legendary Gana Saraswati Srimati Kishori Amankar. Um, I grew up listening to Bhimsen Ji, Jasraj Ji, Kumar Ji, um, um, Kishori Tai, of course. Then uh, the oldest stalwarts like Kesar Bai, Mugu Bai, and many others. So I was very fortunate to have that samskar at home. I must uh, start from telling you about my association with uh, Pandit Ji, Pandit Dinkar Kaikini Ji. Um, I knew him from childhood and because I grew up in Grand Road and he was close by, he was in Gamdevi. Uh, when I started my own bandishes, bandishkari or rachnakari, that is when the genius of Pandit Ji as a rachnakar came forward and I met him in that uh, sense. I really understood his genius then very well when I uh, studied some of his compositions. And uh, when I tried my hand at composing the bandishes and other uh, compositions in Indian classical music, I had shown them to him, a sample of those bandishes to me. And I was very fortunate that he uh, had very kind words for, uh, you know, he kind of uh, gave me a lot of uh, applause and he lauded my effort. So I was very fortunate in that sense. So I was in a way very closely associated with the family, with their activity, with their musical genius. And Dinaranga Smriti, of course, I have started attending the programs from the day it started happening after his demise, to his sad demise. And today I must say that I have had the great privilege of presenting my art to in this on this platform. I must, with all humble and folded hands, uh, thank Tata Capital for their uh, generosity, for their magnanimity. Because, see, nowadays what is happening is the the prices of everything is going up. The programs are cannot be held with the help of ticket sale or with the help of patron members or anything. I mean, it's, it's not possible to have such big events happening on such large scale solely on the contribution of the listeners or of the audience. So then it becomes very essential that we need patrons like, you know, the corporate houses like Tata Capital. I'm aware that not just the Naranga Smriti, but there are many other events that Tata Capital is sponsoring. And that is why I must say that um, I have all my gratitude to them. Well, as a performing artist in the field of Indian classical music, I think I see a lot of um, progress in the way the programs are being held, in the way they are attended. I see a lot of uh, increase in the number of uh, uh, audience. I mean, it's very heartwarming to see such large crowds for such a program, even when there are lots of other choices available to people. People have a lot of choice and not just a choice of events or artists. They have a choice of genres. But I think Indian classical music is something of a live, live experience and you have to attend a program live yourself to be able to enjoy it the most and that is what is when I, it's very heartwarming to see that happening 